Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Affordable Flyers, Rotor X attempts comeback but caution advised, Kit Fox Joyrider arrested after a bad landing, Icon A5 type certificated in primary category. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to Airborne Affordable Flyers, our programming designed to help you get and stay in aviation as affordably as possible. Overseen by the editorial staff of the award-winning Sport Plane Resource Guide, we know well the challenges faced by today's sport flyers, and we're here to help you enjoy flying to the utmost. Let's get into today's stories. Rotor X attempts comeback, but caution advised. After an on-again, off-again bankruptcy, dozens of customer complaints, troublesome reports from unpaid employees, numerous lawsuits from customers and companies they did business with, questions from legal agencies, being thrown out of their HQ building, and many other woes, Rotorax Aircraft says they'll be back, and we have a hard time believing it. A notice on the Rotor X Kitcopter website, which still seems to be offering the helicopter for sale even though we are unaware that they have delivered a complete kit since they started, states that, quote, Thank you friends, supporters, and employees for your patience while we get back to work here at Rotor X Aircraft, end quote. And then goes on to state that, quote, Please look for an update in January with more details about Rotor X Aircraft resuming operations, end quote. No one is answering the phone, but there is still a way to leave a message for sales, and that worries us a great deal. This company owes millions to customers who did not get what they paid for. If you or anyone else is interested in doing business with this company, we advise caution and have placed a not recommended warning in the next Sport Plane Resource Guide. Flyer, beware. And coming up after the break, Dark Arrow Program Update. Flight tests are coming. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher, or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Dark Arrow Program Update. Flight tests are coming. The Dark Arrow Program is working its way to completion and first flight of the projected 275 mile per hour two-seat retractable kit aircraft. Testing and fine-tuning of landing gear, control systems, and other facets of the composite design have been underway for a while now as the development team has shown its diligence in working out a lot of details. Over the past year, the company notes that reservations for Dark Arrow 1 kits increased from 177 to 211, and they are already working the production program necessary to keep up with that massive volume. More details soon. Elixir Aircraft's Glass Panel LSA approved in EU Elixir Aircraft has obtained EASA certification for its Elixir series, sporting a full glass cockpit layout. The new panel sports dual G3X touchscreens, a GTN 750XI, and Garmin's GNC 355A comms and nav backup unit. The timing is fine for Elixir, who recently inked a deal to provide the aircraft to Airbus Flight Academy Europe. The purchase will place four of the new production French aircraft into student hands and hopefully eventual buyers' minds. Scalebird's P36 Hawk prototype has completed Phase 1 flight testing. 
The somewhat unique Scalebirds P-36 replica sport plane kit aircraft has safely completed Phase 1 flight testing, and they are finalizing kit construction parameters so they can start getting partial kits out to selected builders this year. Using the Werner 7U radial engine producing 120 plus horsepower, the currently fixed gear P-36 is pushing a top end of 130 knots and cruises about 120. ANN test pilot Jim Campbell has been promised a test flight soon, and we're looking forward to flying it. EAA Young Eagles activity increased over 2023. EAA's much-lauded Young Eagles program continued its post-pandemic recovery in 2023, as more than 57,000 young people received flight experiences from volunteer EAA member pilots as of December 17, 2023. The total number of youth receiving a free Young Eagles introductory flight this year is the highest yearly total since 60,142 were flown in 2019. These flights were all made possible by 4,493 pilots from 616 different EAA chapters who volunteered their time to help. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Kit Fox Joyrider arrested after bad landing. An unlucky 2020 Kit Fox owner in Las Vegas got an unusual call when he was asked if he'd just crashed his fancy new plane outside a small airport, but he was in his living room. As it happens, a repeat aircraft burglar just couldn't stick the landing with the shiny new Kit Fox, setting the aircraft down outside Nevada's Barstow Daggett Airport. The culprit, 40-year-old Damien Zucatus, had reportedly made off with aircraft a few times, taking them out for illicit rides. His last caper will probably be a coda for his adventures now that he's been arrested. Police believed he'd burglarized three other aircraft in recent days. The Kit Fox was not found in great shape. The owner found marijuana and a couple of cans of Modelo rolling around in the passenger seat. While some sources say the aircraft was recovered with the POH open to the landing section, the owner seems to convey something different in a direct interview. The thief was consulting a binder with directions on landing at an airport in Corona, California. That could open up some interesting avenues in the investigation. Zucaitis is facing charges of possession of a stolen aircraft and transporting it across state lines from San Bernardino Sheriff's Office, with additional charges awaiting him in Nevada. And coming up after these messages, Icon A5 Type Certificated in Primary Category. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. Icon A5 type certificated in primary category. Overpriced, offering meager performance, and burdened with a history of disappointment have made it hard for those who inherited the Icon program to get ahead. The company has turned to a certification program that has been all but abandoned by others in the sport plane community. The FAA has granted type certification for the Icon A5 in the primary category. Icon was quick to crow about their achievement, highlighting their A5 as, quote, one of only a few light sport aircraft manufacturers in the world to meet the certification standards of the FAA, end quote. They hope to unlock further markets around the world thanks to the reciprocity between TCs across the globe. With an FAA primary type in hand, the A5 folks now believe they can break into markets across Europe, Asia, Australia, and South America. Of course, the primary category is anything but a popular program, so the potential benefits are questionable. Jerry Meyer, CEO of Icon Aircraft, sees the change as a title shift for the A5, bringing up fresh enthusiasm abroad and at home. Quote, the Icon A5 offers an unparalleled blend of performance, safety, and versatility, and we are confident that it will captivate the imaginations of new customers and enthusiasts as we expand our sales and marketing presence outside of the U.S., end quote. And that's our show for today. 
You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.